Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a magic book review. Oh, remember the days when I used to review a magic book every Friday? Wow, I miss those days. <laughs> but when you have a book this big and this awesome, it's kind of hard to just rush through it in a week, right? Uh, to get to your next one. So uh, truth be told, I got this book a while ago. I got this book back uh, in all those uh, Christmas purchases, those Black Friday deals, and i uh, been sitting on it because, I mean, look at it. It's 269 pages. Tons of magic in this, tons of card magic in this. So I really wanted to go through it and uh, just digest the whole thing. And I'm really excited to tell you all about Sonata by Juan Tamari. All right, first, let me just say, if you go out to the interwebs and scroll through the magic forums and try to find someone's review of Sonata, there's not that many out there. Instead, what you're gonna find is page after page after page of people asking, where can I buy this? And when is it gonna be reprinted? There have been discussions about this being reprinted for years and people waiting for this because when Sonata first came out and then it was translated into English, by the time Juan Tamari's second book, or I'm sorry, the next book came out, right? The book after this one came out, uh, Sonata was already sold out. And so it was going for $100, $200 on the internet. People were, and it was 35 bucks when it first came out. So it immediately uh, became a classic. And like I said, people have been looking for this book, trying to find it. So even before I jump into this, I want you to know this was a hard to find book. Magicians have been waiting for its reprint for years. And now that it is available, um, this is gonna be a book that you should seriously consider putting on your shelves. Now, I know Juan Tamari, he, <laughs> he is, He's the best of the best, right? As far as card magic goes, you're not gonna find very many magicians that are his caliber. And sometimes I think uh, that's kind of scary, especially when we think about mnemonica and, and deck memorization. Let me just say, there's no deck memorized tricks in this book, all right? So if you kind of just like card tricks, uh, this, is, this is the book you want, because that's what this is. I know some of his other books are card theory and magic theory. There's, that's, that's not what this book is. This is the book of card tricks. Now there are some knife tricks at the back. I'll get to that. But um, if you just like buying books that have a bunch of just incredible card tricks, especially card tricks that Juan Tamari has built his reputation on and magicians who've purchased this book have built their reputations on, I'm gonna say it again. This is the book. All right, Sonata, originally published by Franks and Books in 1989. Like I said, one of the hardest out of print magic books to find ever. You can also see up at the top, it says Bewitched Music Volume One, meaning this was part of a three volume set, Sonata being the first book to be released. Um, what's the difference between this version and the old version? Well, aside from publisher, right, we have a new editor. So we have a cleaned up translation by Stephen Minch. Now you might remember Stephen Minch's name from By Forces Unseen. He also edited Daryl's Ambitious Card Omnibus and Carnicopia by John Carney. And if you don't know, Juan Tamari has authored six books translated into English. Uh, Mnemonica, Verbal Magic, Magic Way, Five Points and Magic Rainbow. Sonata is one of his thicker, bigger books. And like I mentioned, several of his other books focus on theory. This one's just full of amazing card tricks and some color changing knife effects. The book is broken up into three different movements. Uh, and he's gonna begin with moves and slights. He has a study on the Mexican turnover and the feral shuffle, and he covers a lot of his favorite slights at the beginning. And then the second movement, this is gonna be uh, his card tricks. Um, and, for, and, and just to take my advice, if you just want my advice, as soon as you get the book in the mail, 
I want you to jump to page 190 and learn total coincidence. This is said to be one of the best card tricks ever. It's not hard to do. And magicians have used this trick to close out their sets. It's that strong. It's a two deck trick. I, I just gotta go back. Total coincidence is like this two deck trick where um, you shuffle one deck and mix it all up. And then you separate red from black. And then you hand the stack to the spectator. They select a card and lose it in the, in the, in the deck. Then you go to your second red deck, shuffle that up. And then you go through the cards like this. None of the cards match until you get to their card and the cards match and they're in the same location. Then you take those, that red deck and blue deck, you shuffle that together, interlacing the colors. You find two cards, turn them, and they match. And then you go to the reds that were separated out. You fan those and they're in every single order identical. It's, it is a killer reputation maker. Um, like I said, jump to page 190, learn total coincidence. It is such an amazing trick. Um, yeah, and, and three or four tricks in there, you're gonna add to your routine. You are, you just are. Other amazing card tricks I think you should uh, look at are the three goblets prediction, traveling cards, double ambitious, the black days, neither blind nor silly, three actors, the hypnotic power of the jokers, and you should check out the Tamari Perpendicular Control. This is a really cool control where a card is selected, put into the middle of the deck, and then in just a flash, you've controlled it to the bottom. And like I mentioned earlier, the third movement is all knife magic. And also with your purchase, you'll get a little paperback booklet called the new mini symbolic method. Uh, this book has also been re-edited, but what it is is, it's a collection of shorthand symbols. So shorthand symbols that Tam Marie has come up with, that he's developed so that if he learns a new trick or he creates a new trick, instead of handwriting out all the steps and all the details, uh, you can just write the trick out in shorthand and it'll help you not only remember the trick, but uh, write it out quickly so that you'll be able to go back to it again. And let me just mention that some of those symbols do appear in the Sonata book. So you do need this little booklet as a handy reference tool sometimes. Now, because I don't have the original version, I can't really speak to the translation as far as how it compares to the older version. Uh, I can say that reading this book, I found the directions very clear and very easy to understand. And the illustrations are nice and big and uh, very simple to follow. So overall, um, this, is, this is an absolute amazing book. And right now, Penguin Magic is offering two different ways that you can own this. Uh, the first is the standard edition, that's $100, and then there's a more deluxe edition, that's $200. The deluxe edition is signed by Juan Tamarie. So let me just put this into perspective for you. There used to be the original copy of this book, older book, right, 1989 printing, with a more difficult translation out there on eBay for 200 bucks. Now you can get a brand new copy that's yours and yours alone, a new cleaned up translation, and your book will be signed by the master himself for 200 bucks. It's a no brainer. And, I, and don't take my word, please. Don't take my word. Think about this. First you have the reputation of Juan Tamarie. I shouldn't have to say anything else, right? You should have all his books on your shelf. Second, just the fact that people have been looking for this book and begging and speculating about when it would be reprinted, that's another testimony to how amazing this book is. So don't take my word for it. It's reputation should stand alone. It should. Juan Tamarie's reputation should stand alone. You should have this, you should have five points, you should have mnemonica, those three books should be on your bookshelf easy, especially if you're serious about building a magic library. Um, and then, you know, if, if you want to throw one more on there, the magic way definitely, I think, um, needs to be in there as well. And I've done some reviews for his other books too.
But uh, to be truthful, I don't even understand why this book is still available at Penguin Magic. I'm shocked. I thought by the time, I, I, I'm so glad I'm able to do this review now while you can still purchase it, you know? I, I, I should have gotten this out earlier. I, I really should have, but I was having so much fun going through it. Penguinmagic.com, that's where you wanna go. I wanna thank them for allowing me to have this book so I could do the review for you. Juan Tamarie forever. <laughs> I'll see you guys next time, bye.